robots are no longer the stuff of science fiction. In fact, at the University of Minnesota Center for Distributed Robotics, Dr. Nikos Papanikolopoulos and his graduate students are changing the way SWAT teams and military do reconnaissance. Their mission is to save lives on the front lines, and they're having greater success thanks to the help of a little robot called Scout. I believe in research that has tangible results, uh, results that can really impact our everyday lives. If I could build a robot that is going to increase the distance between humans and harm's way, this is the type of stuff I love doing. In 1997, Dr. Papanikolopoulos was asked to design a robot that would aid military operations. He and a team of engineers at Minnesota began developing a reconnaissance device capable of navigating and transmitting images via remote control. It's more or less just a camera on wheels, but there was a lot of engineering put into it to determine how to protect it against impact. We wanted to make sure that this device would be thrown a hundred times and always be intact at the end. Throw it on snow, go through glass, window, we'll throw it from planes, we'll throw it actually three stories high and we'll survive again and again. Today, there are thousands of scout robots deployed worldwide in places like Afghanistan, Iraq, and the US. It can go under cars, you can throw it in a cave or you can throw it in a building and get the visual feedback. There is a possibility also of having acoustic sensors like microphones that have audio feedback. Scout robots also aid police and SWAT teams here in the United States. What the Scout allows us to do is deploy an officer down a hallway, down some stairs to help clear that area before we actually send people down. We're doing everything we can to make sure we go home at the end of the operation, and uh, the scout allows us to do that. When you get these letters of people having used the robot, or when they tell you, look, this robot saved my life, it's just, you feel it's the, the next level, that no, none of us really anticipated when we started. This really uh, cemented my belief that we have a destiny. We need to have research that has a goal, that has a vision. As long as I have a team of extremely capable uh, students, that's all I need.